Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. So if you are new here today, I do a lot of crafts, many furniture flips. We have a phenomenal dump here in our town. So a lot of dump hauls. And then from those items, a lot of trash to treasures. If that's something that you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I post. Today, I am going to give you six spring trash to treasures. So for number one, I had found on the good table at our dump, this old blue book. And I kind of like the color of it. And I thought about painting it as I had in the past. But then I had a brilliant idea. A couple months ago, I had picked up this paper clay online and I wanted to use it. And then I went on to Amazon and purchased a couple of small silicone bird molds that I thought would be really nice to try this product with. It was freezing so instead of clipping some branches I just used some floral leftover stems that I had, molded the clay and pushed them into the silicone molds. You just have to make the flat, the back nice and flat and then you can just push it right out of the mold now i like to glue these down while the clay is still wet so i positioned them where i wanted them on the outside of the book and use that stem to sort of you know set them in place you can use any wood glue tacky glue elmer's glue really honestly glue the back smooth it out and press that down on the book cover where i wanted them and then i removed that um stem let them dry took an exacto knife cleaned up around them because i decided not to paint them i like them just like they were and just hot glued that stem right in place and i thought it came out adorable as is if i ever decide i can always you know paint over that and wax it but uh, for right now i really like the way that it looked just as it is you'll have to let me know um, what you think of this simple project and then that takes me on to my trash to treasure number two. Now, a couple of dump hauls ago, I had found this little pitcher. It is, I think, from the dollar store, to be honest. I had no markings on it, and I think I've seen them there. So I just took one bird and made myself a little branch, just rolled some clay in my hand and just made my own branch and pressed those on and then did the same thing. I went ahead and I glued onto the pitcher and let that dry. They don't crack, this paper clay is wonderful. And I had this like green colored paint left over from another project, which was a bit sagey. So I left the gold handle um, and rim on the pitcher and just let that green paint everywhere else dry and then took the white wax waxed over that and then gently wiped that off after 15 or 20 minutes so that it could just get into the cracks where I wanted that and I think this transformed this little pitcher into the most adorable thing now on to number three you may recall if you saw my recent haul that i had picked up this angel from the dump and i used the wings to make this beautiful angel out of some spindles and a bed post and then out of the base of the angel i had made a yarn christmas tree and then that left me with the center portion which was like a hurricane lamp so i ran that through the dishwasher and decided to take that gold base and um, i had some black spray paint out in my garage so on a semi-warm day gave that a coat of black paint and then asked my husband to help me with one of those dollar tree round wooden bases he put the hole in the center I stained it with the brown antiquing wax then I just used my hurricane lamp base to push it into some of the uh, foam from the dollar store 
and then glued on some different mosses from the dollar store so that I had a good base for that. And then went through my florals, just looking for a couple of springy items. I came out with a couple of pink flowers and pushed those gently into the foam. Tried it a couple times um, without, it was a little tricky to get the hurricane glass over the moss. So it took me two tries, but I did eventually get that glued on. And then I found these eggs in my stash. So I had put them right in the base just to make that a little bit of almost like a terrarium look. Added a little bow and some lace. It's a little bit cottage core. So that takes me on to my trash to treasure number four. Last week's dump haul, I had picked up this adorable little table um, with the little flower top. It's a little filthy, so it took a good cleaning and I wanted to give that a little bit more of the blush paint um, so I mixed some pink with a little bit of salmon and my inspiration for the blush color was that beautiful wreath that I had made a couple videos back. So I just, I am no artist by any stretch of the imagination, but I just went ahead and pounced on some paint to give it a little bit of texture um, and ended up painting that um, whole thing in that pinky color, added a little bit more of that salmon color to darken it up, and then um, did the flower portion more of the blush and then darkened even more around the edges of that. Then I took the Waverly wax, antiquing wax, on the bottom of my brush and just went ahead and added some little dots to the center. And once that was all dry, took some white wax and some um, reddish color details on the flower and just sort of added more of a petal look waxed that whole thing in the white wax and then um, it's just a little bit refreshed from what it was um, not you know my favorite thing by any stretch of the imagination here but at least it's not bright orange and it looks a little bit more um, a little softer I think and in keeping with the blush colors that I had for spring this year so I do think that that will be a cute little accent piece for the deck or, you know, for a child. So here it is complete. And I do love it against the barn door. I love that rustic look against it. So you'll have to let me know what you think of that. And then that takes me on to my trash to treasure number five. Now this item I had made Christmas time and I had stuck that holly jolly sign on it so I simply took that off and it was just a piece of barn board that I had attached a ladle to that I spray painted black you could make this so simply but I had this bird's nest in my craft supplies and I wanted to use it so I put it on the base of the ladle added a little more moss and then went back to my stash of little Easter eggs that I don't remember where I picked these up maybe Hobby Lobby a few years back um, and I just added a couple eggs to that and then I went on line to look for some tags and i know you can go to pixabay for free or you can go to the graphics fairy for free and you can get a number of these kinds of items um, to download for free and print but i actually just googled free tags i believe or free spring tags or free bird tags i googled a few different things and um, i came up with a couple of really adorable items i need to go ahead and buy some more cardstock so that i can print a number of these off because they really are beautiful i don't have a um, download for you but if you just go ahead and google that or look at pixabay 
or Graphics Fairy, you are going to find a number of these beautiful items. So I chose the one that I wanted for the one and only piece of cardstock that I had available, and I printed these onto that cardstock and then cut them out so that I could use them for a couple of the projects this month. Attached one of them with a three hole punch and a piece of twine to the top of that ladle. And that is really all I did. I thought that that was just so beautiful and vintage and rustic looking. I absolutely love it. Now I put it on this tray with a gray pot and I just decided that I did not love that pot in gray with the items that I had surrounding it and so I actually have three of these pots of lavender <laughs> so for this particular one I just took out some beigey cream color um, off-white paint and a stippling brush and I just pounced that uh, or actually I guess it's a sponge brush and pounced it all over the gray to cover it in more of an antique white color and then took the Waverly wax and just waxed gently with a dry brush over the texture on that pot to make it look a little bit aged or dirty looking to go with that vintage feel. And I think that that just made a world of difference um, between that piece and some of the other items that I had made for that little vignette. So I love, love, love the way this looks, my children's silhouette, one of my favorite items that I own. And then that takes me on to my trash to treasure, number six. Also, in one of the last dump hauls, we had picked up this glass jar that had licorice or something in it once upon a time on the good table at the dump. I attempted with acetone to take that painted label off, and I was not able to. So again, back to the printed labels that I had cut out. I just went ahead and decided that I could slide that in to the glass and cover over the label from the inside. So again, I took another one of those bird's nests and I sort of crushed it a little bit to get it down into the glass jar and then slid that label behind it. Once I had that in there, then I went back to those same eggs and picked out a couple of those eggs. And then I had a little glass um, bird in my um, little treasures. So I added that bird and put the black cover that came with the licorice jar back on top. And so once that was finished, that was all there was to it. I love this look. I just love the vintage feel of that jar. And I just love the way that it came out with the vignette that I was making with all of these spring items. So I would love to know which was your favorite. Please give me a comment and a thumbs up. I am about 40 something, 50 people away from hitting my 1000 subscribers. So, so I can do the $100 giveaway. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.